Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the Urban Rider Studio. For a top five, these are our five favorite riding trainers for 2023. The reason I like riding trainers so much is the comfort they offer. They're very, very usable on and off the bike and they're very stylish. So without any further ado, let's get started on this selection. Right, so we'll go up this list in ascending order in terms of price from the most affordable and definitely a good one for us to talk about because this is actually a collaboration between Urban Rider and Merlin. And in actual fact, we are gonna get a new version of this as well. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Slight differences on that trainer in that it has slightly different branding and logos across it, but largely speaking it is the same boot. Now these come in at £139.99. They use a premium cowhide outer. You have a waterproof membrane on the inside as well. So you don't have to be quite so careful about the riding season or conditions you're riding in. If it does start to rain, you are fully waterproof with the Hypora waterproof membrane on the inside. They're pretty easy to get on. They're a lace-up design, no side zip entry. I will explain why I quite like a side zip entry, but you don't find that on these. What you will get though is slightly better ankle reinforcement often when you're not using a side zip entry for obvious reasons. You have reinforcement at your heel, at your toe, you have a reinforced footbed, and of course you have these quite chunky ankle protectors, although it is nicely padded on the inside so they won't get in the way of comfort. I won't dwell too much on sizing because all of these actually are what I would describe as an accurate size. You can check our size guide, obviously on the website, we have that up-to-date size guide on there. Check them out if you want to for some more details. Keep your eyes peeled for the new version coming soon and let's move on to the next. Next up, we have the lightest entry, and by virtue of that, also highly breathable. This is the John Doe Neo riding trainer. We have featured this before because, of course, we like it. They come in at £154.90. To me, they have that recognizable skater style that I grew up liking and wearing all so often, and obviously the benefits that come with that comfort being the biggest one off the bike especially obviously these are great on the bike and they are all ce approved but the fact that they have a flat sole and all of these do have a flat sole make it a little bit easier to move around on the pegs this one comes in a variety of colors so you can have it in either white or black and you can choose either the gum sole or the same color as the boots they use a leather outer with a suede finish to areas of the trainer and then obviously these sections of perforations. And they aren't waterproof, so you are gonna to have to be a little bit choosier about the types of riding conditions you find yourself in. But because of that, they are gonna be more breathable. As good as waterproof membranes are getting at breathability, they're not quite as good, obviously, for airflow as something that doesn't have that liner in. You have reinforcements at your heel, reinforcement at your toe, a little softer than you'll find in some of the other boots I'll show you. And you have reinforcements to the outside of your ankle, not to the inside, because you have this side zip entry, which makes them a lot easier to get in and out of. You will need to undo the laces, but not to the same degree as you find on the other shoes. Lastly, when it comes to sizing, as I mentioned, all of these are an accurate size, but you do get a bit of extra choice with this one because they do some half sizes around the middle of their range. Let's move on. Next up, at 160 pounds, we have a trainer that I'm very familiar with. These are the Revit Arrow, and I own a pair of these and can definitely attest to the comfort of these shoes whilst riding the bike or walking off the bike. As we've found so far, they have a flat sole. They are a slightly different look than you'll find with either the Street or the John Doe Neo, which to me at least look a little bit more like skate shoes. These just look like urban trainers. And they do these in a variety of different colors. The brown colorway we have here is new to us. They've got a gray, I believe a black as well. They've also got a ladies version if you're looking. Similar to the John Doe, these are not waterproof. So again, they are highly breathable and a great choice for the summer. They have a lace-up design, no side zip on these, but the ankle reinforcement is beefed up as a result. Also very comfortably padded to the back though, so you don't feel that against your ankle, but it is reassuring to know that it is there and it gives a decent amount 
of ankle support as well. What I also like is the fact that it does come higher than your ankle, but on the reverse, you'll see it has this little recess cut out, so it's a little bit more flexible, gives more room to your heel when you're walking around. And you have that Ortholite insole, so they're instantly comfortable to move around in. And I'm sure I am biased because I do own a pair, but these have quickly become one of my favorite shoes on and off the bike. Next up, we have something with a slightly different look. These are the Falco Ace waterproof trainer. They look like active wear to me. They look like the sorts of trainers I would be considering if I were also going hiking off the bike. And because of that, you can expect that they are really nicely supportive as well. Of all of the trainers that I've shown you so far, these have a decent level of stiffness to your ankle. When I say stiffness, I don't mean they're restrictive at all, but they give you that reassurance, that support around your ankle. To help with flexibility though, you will find this soft padded section at the top of your heel for mobility. So these come in at £164.99 and you can get them in either black or brown. As I mentioned, they are waterproof. You have a high-tex waterproof membrane on the inside. They are still breathable, but not quite as breathable, let's say, as the Neo. But much like the Neo, they also have a side zip entry. Yes, indeedy. So they have that waterproof membrane. It goes above your ankle still, so you are still waterproof. But it does, like I say, like I said about the Neo, make it a little bit easier to get them on and off. You'll find reinforcement at your toe, at your heel, and around your ankle, more noticeably around the outside of your ankle. Obviously, that is the compromise of having a side zip entry. And you've got a big, chunky, grippy sole with some wide grooves on there. They'll be a lot easier to clean out as a result. If you want a comfortable, sturdy pair of trainers for all kinds of riding conditions, definitely a good one to look at. Lastly, we have a returning favorite, and it still is one of my favorites. And of course, it has that skater style that I've previously mentioned. This is the TCX Street 3 waterproof trainer. They come in at a very similar price to the other shoes that I've shown you. They're £169.99 for full recommended retail price, although I believe they're on offer at the moment, at least in the colorway you can see here. But always check the Urban Rider website, you'll find the cheapest price in the UK if you do. And I would also recommend checking the website for the new colorways. This is one of the original colorways. But we have some new designs coming in from them. Now the original designs I thought were really, really nice. The new ones likewise catch my eye just as much. Feature-wise, if we look around, you'll find they are a lace-up design, no side zip entry to be found. And they have a waterproof membrane and they're also really, really comfortable. When I say skate shoes, the big benefit back in the day of wearing skate shoes was just how comfortable and cushy they were. The same is felt with these. They have got reinforcement, but you really wouldn't know that it was there at all because it does not get in the way of moving around. You have some soft toe reinforcement, heel reinforcement. You have a shank in the sole, so it's not gonna bend back on you. And you have ankle reinforcement, it's D3O, so that's also really, really flexible. And that is our selection. Obviously we have more. Obviously you may well have your favorites that we haven't mentioned here. So drop them in the comment section down below. We're always interested to hear back from you. And I will see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.